Hi there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. In today's video, I want to answer a big question that I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, what is legato playing? Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so what is legato playing? Well, first things first, I want to talk about where this question is coming from. It's coming from subscribers and followers from my various um, social media channels. It's also coming from certain students, people that I'm teaching. And the reason it's coming about is a, a number of videos that I've put up where I'm playing or I'm giving lessons or whatever. One of the things that gets commented on quite a lot is, and I'm very, very grateful for this, by the way, the people are saying that I've got really good facility for legato playing which has led to a lot of people going well what is legato playing and all that sort of stuff not only that but also i've just launched a members area to cutting edge guitar and the first lessons that i've posted there are about legato playing okay so more about the members area and all that stuff later let's get into this about what is legato so when i teach technique on the guitar i focus in on four key areas legato being number one Alternate picking, sweeping economy picking, and tapping. They're the four areas that I tend to focus in on quite a lot of my students. Now, I tend to start a technical program with a new student or in any of my books, or as I'm doing with the members area, with the legato technique. And the reason for that is because legato is focused primarily on the fretting hand, okay? Now, legato itself is an Italian word that means smoothly or connected, okay? So what this means to musicians is that when you're playing your notes, you want to be playing with not much attack and you want the notes to be butted right up next to each other so that everything sounds really smooth, connected, fluid, you know, that sort of thing. So what this means to a guitar player is that we want to remove uh, the aggressive attack sound that you'll get from picking. So therefore, we are aiming to produce the notes with the fretting hand. So if I just play three notes, I'm going to play A, B, C on the high E string on my guitar. If I play that picked, you hear the, the sort of that noise of the plectrum playing the notes. What I'm going to do now, if I play this legato, if I pick the first note and then produce the other two with fretting hand hammer-ons. That's basically what I'm doing is I'm whacking one of my fingers down onto the next fret, onto the next note to produce that sound. Now also as well, if I really wanted to, I could remove the sound of the pick entirely by hammering on the first note. So now I've got all of these notes by hammering. Now there is another type of, uh, another way that you can get legato sounds on the guitar. So far I've just done hammer, 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 back to a hammer again on the A note. What I could also do is I could use a pull off. So I could go hammer, 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 pull off, back to my first note. Now a pull off is a different way to execute legato sounds to your hammer on. Okay, so a hammer on is basically just whacking your finger down onto a string, okay, down onto a fret to produce a note. Uh, very much, if you think about your finger being a hammer, knocking a nail into your fretboard, that's basically what you're trying to do with your hammer on. With your pull off, we're still executing the notes with the fretting hand, but what we're gonna do is we actually pull our finger downwards and then away from a string so that your finger acts like a plectrum higher up the guitar neck. So if my pick was doing this, that's the same thing that my fourth finger is going to do here, pulling off from the C to the A. Okay, so I could now do this as hammer, 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 pull off. I could do it as hammer, 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 etc. But basically, playing the notes this way sounds a lot smoother than if I go... You know, there's all the attack from the plectrum there. If I play like this... smoother, more connected. 
Now with legato playing, some players prefer the sound of a hammer on, some players don't like that sound of a pull off at all. I mean, Alan Holdsworth would be one of the most famous players that used to try and hammer everything because he would say that pull offs have like a, a meowing type sound that he just didn't like the tone of. For me, I don't have a problem with pull offs. Also, to be using hammers exclusively is extraordinarily hard. There's very few players out there that can really make that sound good. Um, for my personal tastes, the best legato players, the people that I like to listen to the most, Joe Satriani, I mean, he's one of my favourite players of all time. He uses pull-offs. Uh, Brett Garced also uses pull-offs. Now, Brett Garced, he is particularly smooth in his sound, but he also incorporates real soft pick attack. So he explains on his various videos and instructional products and, and the rest of it that actually he will just play, like use a real glancing approach from the plectrum almost so that you can't even tell that it's a picked note. Um, and Brett's playing is as smooth as you can possibly get. He's unbelievably good. Now, whilst we're talking about him, another thing that you can do to produce that legato sound, let's say if I wanted to do the notes A, B, C, and then play a D after on my high E string. For one thing, I could use four notes per string, so I could go... But for a lot of people, that sort of fretting is very, very stretchy. So something that you could do to replace your hammer on is use a slide, okay? Sliding sounds incredibly smooth. Okay, so if I was picking all of that, even though I've got a shift slide, because I'm picking, I've got aggression or attack in the sound. And that's something that we want to be avoiding with the legato approach. So, there we go guys, that's it. That's what legato means to a guitar player is where we're using hammers, pulls and slides to give a smoother, more fluid and connected sound, okay? Now when you're playing with different techniques, what you should be aiming for all the time is that the technique isn't a driving force for what you're gonna play in terms of, it shouldn't be telling you what you're gonna play musically, it should just be, what kind of sound do I want? And that's why as a teacher, I quite like to use those four different areas. So if, you, if you're playing whatever the sound is in your head, you might think, okay, harmonically, this is what I want to play, but I want it to sound smooth or I want it to sound aggressive or you know, a general interested hobbying guitar player is not going to be interested in one particular musician and want to sound one particular way. You might go, I want to sound like Petrucci here, I want to sound like Greg Howe here, you know, name your favourite guitar player. But if you've got all of these different techniques under your fingers, you'll be able to do lots and lots of different things. So, um, as I say, smooth is, that's what the legato thing is. So hammers, pulls, slides. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I've just released a membership to the Cutting Edge Guitar website. Well, let me tell you a bit more about that. The first five sessions, the first five lessons are up in the members area. They're going to be continuing to build. I'm going to be releasing monthly content to the members area and it's going to build and take your technique in many different ways. But not only that, your fretboard knowledge, your knowledge of different genres. I'm going to be showing you loads and loads of stuff over the course of that membership. But as I say, the first five lessons are all about the legato technique. So if that's something that interests you, the link in the description will take you to a 10 day free trial. Come and have a look around, come and do all the lessons, come and see what you think. If you wanna go further, then obviously you can go further, but just come and have a try. Also, um, I mentioned that in my books, I get uh, asked questions about some of the stuff that's in the books and all that sort of thing. If you are just getting started with something like the legato technique, I go into great detail in High Intensity Guitar Technique Book One about how to get started with all of that stuff. At the moment, you can grab a free copy of that book also at the links in the description. So have a look at those, check that all out. And another thing that you really need to be doing, guys, is subscribe to the channel, because what I'm going to do is over the course of the, the time that I'm doing the membership, I'm also going to be releasing free little tidbits on the YouTube channel just so that you can see what's going on and all the rest of it. So of course, you know, you if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a notification when those come out and you'll get lessons galore. So there we go, guys. I hope that's been helpful. If there's any more questions, please do drop me a line in the comments. Give the video a like, 
Make sure you subscribe, share it to any of your guitar playing friends that you think might benefit from this sort of thing. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care for now, guys.